Muscle growth is a biological process triggered by resistance training. When you train properly, your body responds with a sequence of signals and repairs that lead to bigger, stronger muscles. In this video, we're breaking down the science step by step, so you know exactly what's happening inside your body and how to train in a way that actually produces results. It all begins with mechanical tension. This is the direct stress you put on a muscle when you lift weights or use your body against resistance. Your muscle fibers sense the load and the stretch which triggers internal signals to prepare for repair and adaptation. If the tension isn't high enough, your body won't see a reason to grow. Mechanical tension is a key factor for muscle growth. When you put your muscles under enough stress, it actually acts as a growth signal, telling your body to adapt and get stronger. Then we have muscle damage. During training, tiny tears form in the muscle fibers, especially under controlled eccentric movement. Your body recognizes this and responds by sending in repair cells and proteins to fix the damage. These rebuilt fibers become thicker, more resilient, and slightly larger. Over time, this repeated breakdown and repair cycle is what causes hypertrophy. Tear, repair, grow, that's the cycle of muscle growth. The third piece is metabolic stress. That intense burn you feel during high reps isn't just pain, it's actually a signal. Blood builds up, cells swell, lactic acid accumulates and hormones are activated. This environment encourages the body to reinforce and grow the muscle to handle future metabolic stress more efficiently. After training, recovery begins. This is where the real growth happens. Your body starts muscle protein synthesis using amino acids from your food to rebuild the damaged tissue. This phase lasts from 24 up to 48 hours, and it's where sleep, nutrition, and rest matter the most. If any of those are missing, your gains slow down or disappear. Uh... Muscle growth comes in two forms. Myofibrillar hypertrophy builds dense, strong muscle fibers, which improves strength. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy increases the fluid and glycogen stored in your muscles, giving them that full, pumped look. A good training plan uses both low and high rep ranges to activate both types of growth for size and strength. To build muscle efficiently, stick to compound lifts with a focus on form. Use a rep range of 6 to 12 reps, with enough weight to challenge you near failure. Perform 3 to 5 sets per exercise, with short rest periods of 60 to 90 seconds. This creates enough tension, damage, and metabolic stress to trigger muscle growth. For example, you might do 8 reps for 4 sets at about 70% of your 1 rep max, with 60 seconds of rest between sets. This kind of structure helps you make steady progress and keeps your workouts effective. Your muscles can't grow without proper nutrition. Protein is the raw material for muscle repair. Aim for 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Carbs fuel your training sessions and replenish glycogen, while fats support hormonal balance. Think of food as part of your training. Sleep is where growth happens. During deep sleep, your body releases growth hormone, which plays a major role in tissue repair. If you're not sleeping at least 7 to 9 hours per night, your recovery and muscle building potential drop drastically, no matter how hard you train. Uh, to grow muscle, you need progressive tension, controlled damage, metabolic stress, and full recovery. That means smart training, consistent nutrition, and quality sleep. Muscle is built when every part of your routine is aligned. Track your progress, stay disciplined, and don't skip the basics. For more science-based fitness content, subscribe and check out the next video.